Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. 10 Incredible Two-Headed Animals This is for those blessed with an extra body part, humans or non-humans. They're not deformed, just different. Differences aren't weird, it's special, it's incredible. The condition of having more than one head is called polycephaly. Two-headed animals come about in the same manner as conjoined twins from monozygotic twin embryos. Two-headed animals make headlines when discovered. They're a novelty. There are many incidences of multi-headed animals in mythology and the same is seen in our current world. Polycephaly is most common in mammals and reptiles. In this video, we will dive into a journey of discovery of the 10 most incredible two-headed animals we have found. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 10. Snakes Boa Constrictors Two-headed snakes aren't unheard of. In Florida, a snake breeder got a two-for-one deal when his pet boa constrictor gave birth to a snake with two distinct heads. The two heads emerged from a shared body. Each head lurks in their environment, flicking their tongues and happy to be alive. The snakes were brought into celebrity vet Dr. Susan Keller, who owns an animal care practice in Florida. Her vet partner, Dr. Lauren Thielen, x-rayed the two-headed snake, and in the process, she uncovered some incredible twists. The snake appeared to have two hearts. This is rare in most two-headed animals. They did an ultrasound and listened to the two synced heartbeats that blew their minds. The same snake is even more incredible as it may have two digestive tract systems. If this is so, proper nutrition will be vital in ensuring survival. Boa constrictors don't lay eggs, they give birth. The two-headed boa constrictors developed from an embryo that began splitting to form twins, but stopped all of a sudden. Let's all celebrate this incredible conjoined birth. Number 9. Lamb A newborn lamb in Khan Yunus, Palestine, came out two-headed. Everyone was astounded and it took the owner by surprise. The lamb is seen learning to walk but only managing to walk in circles. The shepherds in the farm take turns feeding both heads of the lamb and supporting its head. The mother sheep and the rest of the flock are accepting of the newborn two-headed lamb. What an incredible creature! Sheep farmers in Palestine believe that animals realize myths that are held in the Middle East. These myths say that birth is God's will. Still, in Palestine, there's another farmer who vividly remembers the birth of his incredible two-headed lamb. He says in an interview that his sheep gave birth to twins. The first one was a normal lamb. The second one came out with the legs first and as the head came out, he saw two heads. The two-headed lamb had difficulty standing up on its own and feeding the natural way. The mother sheep rejected him because it was proving difficult to rear and only manages to take care of the normal-looking twin. Vet said that the animal could survive if the owners managed to pay extra attention to it and take charge of the lamb's responsibility. The owner said he would take care of the lamb and treat it as God's creature. Number 8. Baby Porpoise A couple of Dutch fishermen cast out their nets in the North Sea and were happy with the catch. On a closer look at the net, they saw that they had caught a baby porpoise. They took it out of the net and discovered that it had unfortunately died. But that's not how the story ends. The baby porpoise had an incredible feature. It was a two-headed porpoise. They got so troubled about keeping it thinking it would be illegal. They decided to put it back in the water, but not before snapping a few photos of their incredible catch. The fishermen shared the photos with researchers. The researchers found out that the baby porpoises were males and had lost their lives before they were caught by the net. The porpoises were a set of conjoined twins with their dorsal fins not yet erect. Their umbilical cord opening was still opening, and both of their heads had hair on the beaks. These were all signs of newborns. Number 7. Calf Too incredible to be called lucky. This is the story of the McCubbin family that was blessed on an early Sunday morning with a two-headed calf. A Kentucky family expected their cow to birth twins, but to their surprise, they got lucky instead. That's the calf's name. Most animals born with polycephaly come out as stillborns. The McCubbins were elated when Lucky took its first steps. The steps were in circular motions because of its three eyes that caused poor depth perception. 
However, Lucky would be determined and do its normal circle motion, fall, get back up, and try again. Lucky showed some remarkable progress. Lucky's nose and mouths work in unison. Lucky only needs help to feed and to hold the two heads up until he could get used to it. So far, would you call it one incredible animal with two heads, or two incredible animals sharing a body? Number 6. Birds As a bird lover, the thought of an incredible two-headed bird excites me. Polycephaly isn't common in birds. In heraldry and vexillology, there's a double-headed eagle. The double eagle is a charge associated with the concept of empire. It's a representation of an empire's dominion over others. Anyway, away from that quick fact, a woman called April Britt from Northampton saw something unbelievable in her backyard. She'd gone to her backyard to check out why adult cardinals had been flying around her property. She noticed a beautiful bird nesting on a lower branch. To her surprise, she saw that it was a two-headed baby cardinal with three beaks. She described the heads as being quite closer to each other, a rare and spectacular sight to behold. The adult cardinals flying around was being a parent looking for food for the baby chick. These unique animals unfortunately do not survive for long, but they are a great addition to nature. Number 5. Lizard As we previously mentioned, polycephaly is common in reptiles. Lizards are incredibly unique. Affectionately named Lucky, the lizard was handed to the Australian Reptile Park for his unique two-headed features and two incredibly rare blue tongues. The Australian Reptile Park mentioned that they don't see these polycephaly animals survive in the wild, let alone for a long time. They can't properly hunt, hence becoming easy prey. Lucky is very lucky to be receiving the utmost care in the world and we hope he'll live a happy and long life. There are also other two-headed lizards reported in other parts of Australia and China that are living happy lives and being taken care of. Luckily, having two heads is better than one. Number 4. Goat An incredible two-headed goat was born in the Nuesk Farms and named Janus after an ancient Roman god with two heads. Jocelyn Nuesk and family run a goat farm in Wittenberg and are proud owners of Janus. Janus has two heads, two mouths, four eyes, but they're not certain if the middle eye works. Jocelyn shares updates of Janice on social media and she's been getting an excited and devoted audience. Janice gets regular veterinarian checks and hangs out with other goats. He's getting stronger every day and the family hopes that he will spend time as the family pet. They have grown attached and love Janice so much and are excited about his incredible journey in the world. Number 3. Cat we know cats to have nine lives. Having two heads makes them even more incredible. Duo is this beautiful black kitten born with two heads. She was sadly rejected by her mother cat, but she ended up in the best home. The previous owner contacted a vet friend that wholeheartedly agreed to adopt her. Ralph Tran, the vet, welcomed Duo into the family and took on the responsibility to take care of all of Duo's needs. When Duo was younger, he would feed her with a tube and syringe. Incredible Duo can now manage to eat on her own. Eating is messy in a good way because each face fights to eat at the same time, so the food ends up all over her foreheads and middle eye. It's really cute. Both of Duo's mouths meow separately, her noses breathe well. However, Duo has issues with respiratory infection, properly walking, and a possible seizure. Her middle eye would need surgery at one point in time. Despite all that, she's full of life and as playful as other kittens. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on our future video. Number 2. Dogs Slash Bear A dog is a man's best friend. The idea of having your best friend with two or three heads would be out of this world. What about a two-headed bear? That would be an incredible sight to behold. We reorganized the internet searching for the reality of these images. What we found is that they're undeniably fakes. A three-headed dog and two-headed bear would be an incredible natural occurrence, but unfortunately, the photos are purely made up. We did, although, come across an incredible story that we thought we would share with you. We discovered a mad scientist that attempted to create a two-headed dog. 
a Soviet doctor, Vladimir Demikov, who was a mad scientist in the 1950s, managed to create a two-headed dog from grafting the head and two front legs of a puppy to the back of the necks of a German shepherd. The pictures look surreal. Scientists today say that such graphing is impossible, but the future is bliss. A lot of things would be possible then. Number 1. Turtles Two-headed turtles are quite common occurrences around different parts of the world. Turtles can develop two heads side by side, or they can have each head protruding from the opposite ends of one body. Nature is diverse. There's a two-headed turtle whose name was inspired by the 1991 Oscar-winning film Thelma and Louise. The left head is called Louise, and the right one, Thelma. A zoo in San Antonio housed this incredibly famous two-headed turtle. It swam, walked, and ate normally. Their coordination was incredible and the two heads got along very well. At only 13 months, their lives naturally came to a halt. The San Antonio Zoo broke this news with great sadness and they received a lot of love and well wishes around the globe. Despite all these being very interesting and rare occurrences, coming face to face with a two-headed birth-giving snake has been added to my list of things I never wish to see in real life. How about you? Let me know in the comments section below.